Hey everyone. I thought I'd check in today. I haven't been on in a while. I'm on my last walk this morning. Marley's my last one. So five walks this morning. <laughs> I take everybody by themselves. Um, so just wanted to check in today. I know I haven't been on in a while. I've been really struggling the past couple weeks. Um, just with sadness, extreme sadness from all the loss this year. It really hit me about a week before Miggy's birthday. Miggy would have been 11, July 2nd. Um, this has been really tough. I did film two videos since I've last spoken to you guys, but when I watched them back, you could just tell it was just, I was just making a video to make a video and I didn't feel think they were worthy to upload. So I deleted them. Um, I've been having some health issues myself. Nothing serious, I don't think. I have an appointment. Don't pee on their mulch. Which I don't think they're going to put the mulch out. Because look at these weeds. This house is usually maintained really well. So I don't know what's happened. If they've had something happen and just don't care about it anymore. Which I, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Um... Yeah, so I've just been really struggling. It's been hard to film videos and I was walking this morning and I thought I need to get in on and check in with you guys to let everybody know everything's okay. Um, I did start Mozzie with his new insulin this morning, so I've been having a lot of anxiety with that. His numbers are high. And I knew they probably would be. Sorry about the car noise, but... Oh, someone's coming towards me walking, so I'm going to have to pause for a minute. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think I was saying I'm, I'm having a lot of anxiety with this new insulin. Not only because it's a different way of administering it, because it's one of, in one of those flex... It's called a Flex Touch Insulin Pen. Um, so the needle's shorter. I, could, I couldn't tell. This morning was my first time doing it. I couldn't tell if the needle was injected good. It was just, it was very stressful. And I thought, why am I changing insulins? <laughs> he's doing really, he's been doing pretty good with this, the other insulins. Why am I trying something different? I know the doctor wants to and she thinks it'll help control him better, but I keep doubting myself. Like, why am I doing this? Um, and now his numbers are high, so I'm like, I got to get out on a walk this morning because all I'm going to do is sit here and stare at the app. And uh, I know we had to start the dosage low. Um, you got to start them low because you don't want to give too much and then they go into a coma, diabetic coma. Um, I don't know if that's what it's called. I shouldn't say that, but they could go into a coma if their numbers got extremely low. So I understand why we're having to start over and his numbers are going to be high. Um, I don't know guys. I'm just, I'm just stressed out. I'm just, I'm just stressed out from everything. And I don't want to make this a pity party, but I want to tell you the truth, how I've been feeling lately and why I haven't been making videos. I'm just, I'm completely overwhelmed and stressed out about everything. And I just want to do what's right for Mozzie. Um, and I think with everything that's happened, I question myself constantly now. Am I doing the right thing? Just like I constantly think about with Miggy. Did I do the right things for him? Would he still be here? And I know that's terrible to keep questioning myself, but I do. 
Um, Marley, we're gonna turn around. This is where we turn around. Come on, Marley. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna turn around now. We always stop by the wastebasket in case anybody did their business, I can throw it away. And everybody has to pee on it. All right, we're gonna go this way now. We're gonna turn back. Come on. Um, oh, it's just, just extreme sadness and anxiety going on and it's just taking its toll on me. And I think, hold on guys, I gotta itch my ear. Hold on, I'm gonna hang on to the camera different. My hair was tickling my ear. <laughs> um, I think that's why I may be having my health issues. I think it might be from stress and everything that I'm dealing with. Um, so I made an appointment for Monday to go in and talk to the doctor. Because I know when you're stressed and feeling depressed... Um, I don't know if it's really depression I'm going through or if it's just extreme sadness. I don't know. Um, I know that can take a toll on your body. That's why I'm out walking too. Because I've been just staying in the house. Just dwelling on everything. And I can't do that. This morning I said I can't do this anymore. I got to get out. I can't do this for the other dogs. The other dogs need a walk. They need their exercise. They need me. So I've just got to break myself out of it. I'm sorry for all the car noise, but I think I explained in my last walk video that I walk on this road um, because I've noticed on the neighborhood Facebook pages, there's been a lot of, like, dogs running loose. I don't know if people are dumping their dogs. I don't know if people just aren't making sure their fences are secure, their dog's leashes are secure. I don't know. So, I don't walk in the neighborhood anymore um, across the street because too many loose dogs. And if you remember when we lived in that neighborhood before this house, we had many encounters with loose dogs. And that would cause me anxiety just walking the dogs. <laughs> but I've had no problems on the main road. And I figure if I'm on a main road, as you can tell, there's always cars going by. So if something happened, somebody hopefully would stop and help me. I would stop and help someone if I saw a problem going on. So that's why I walk on this busy road. So there's a lot of car noise and I apologize. So, everybody's been doing good. Mozzie's been doing good. His numbers are just high today. I, I got to check them when I go, when I get home after I'm done walking Marley. Because um, I need to uh, let Dr. Pearson know. I've got to text her. Because that sensor will only show you the numbers up to 400. Um, so, after 400, it just says high. And you don't know exactly what the number is. So, I've got to use my glucose meter um, and test his numbers every couple hours and send them to her. I have a feeling she's probably going to up the dose tonight. And I'm telling you right now, just like I did with the last new insulin we tried, I can't remember the name of it, I made the executive decision. I texted her and I said, I'm not giving this to him anymore. Mozzie threw up. He was gorging drinking water. It was making him throw up because he was drinking so much water. And he had me up in the middle of the night two times to pee because he was drinking so much water. I said, I'm not giving this to him anymore. I'm going back to what um, we were doing. So that may happen again. I might make that executive decision again and not care what the doctor says. And sometimes you just got to do that. You got to come this way or you're going to get tangled. Come here. You gotta go this way. Now you're gonna go around. Okay, let's do a circle. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it goes through the day. Keep an eye on his water consumption. 
see how he's feeling. He did great on his walk. Um, when I tested his numbers at eight this morning, because this new insulin is supposed to kick in within, within 60 minutes. So I tested him about an hour, 10 minutes after he had the injection and his number was 589, I believe, which has not been that high in a long time. Um, so I'm going to test it again at 10 uh, and see what it is, which I don't even know what time it is right now. I think it's about 930. So I got about a half hour, see what it is again and let her know. I hate poking him. I hate poking him and having to do the glucose meter. But like I said, if the sensor is only reading to 400 and it's just as high, I have to do it. Oh, so anyways, just want it. Marley, that's not your house. Come on. This way. He always has to go behind me to correct himself. I'm getting back on the left side of me. Because that's where I like him to walk, so on the left-hand side. Um, so I just wanted to check in today and just kind of let you know a little bit of what's been going on. Uh, I took Milo and Magnum Monday, this past Monday. Magnum got his rabies vaccine. Milo got his feet checked again. If you remember, I was giving him an antibiotic because he had a yeast infection on his feet, fungal infection. Uh, she re, um, she looked at his feet again and there was a little bit of sinus still some infection left. So she prescribed him another two weeks of antibiotics and I've got to use the, um, oh, what are those things called? The wipes I use. I can't remember exactly what they're called again. I'll tape it on the screen. Look, he's going to go behind me. <laughs> he never goes in front of me to get back on the left side. He always has to go behind me and make me turn around. Um, yeah, I'll have to tape it on the screen. He can't remember. Um, but, uh, got to do that every day now um, while he's on his antibiotic. She was just having me do it a couple times a week. She said, I think we need to do it every day. And then after he's off the antibiotics, um, do it a couple times a week for maintenance. So she don't think she needs to see him again. Unless, I mean, unless he starts having tons of problems again. Why are you walking so close to the road today? Okay. I'm going to get off here. Just wanted to give that little update. And hopefully I'll have another video again for you guys soon. All right, guys. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.